veteran Amy Yang at the 18th, a short birdie putt to shoot the low round of the week, a 63. It would not be the low round alone. Young Norwegian rookie, Selina Borga for Eagle at the 18th. This for Borga in her first LPGA start as a member would be for a 63, a closing Eagle. This was a little earlier, Lilia Vu, second to the par five, bit of uh, helping breeze here. So players can go at the green in two and reach the green with their second shot. And Lilia Vu needs a little boost today. She's some good opportunities for the players today. Should be very exciting. Boy, this 18th has been a thrill ride today. We nearly saw an albatross from Mina Haragai. This is Ali Ewing. Okay. An eagle is kind of like, yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Moria started off with a bogey, bounced back with a birdie at the second. This to get her back under par. Will it get yeah. there? Yeah. She's not even a low Jatana guard at the moment. I incredibly, she shot 67 65 while Aria was struggling, but look at Aria up there tied for the lead now. Par putt here for Maddie Zarek. <laughs> Epic Solheim Cup performance in 2019. Oh. That to oh, get beautiful. to 13 under. Now Jenny Shin for par left herself a little bit of work to do here. But no problem at all for Jenny. So she remains one under for the day. The round three scoring average today on this hole is 4.02. On a par five. On a par five. So nearly a stroke under par. The third hole's playing harder, and it's a par four. It's 4.09, <laughs> just to give you an idea. To the ninth. This is Allison Lee's second. Oh, nicely done. Right, right, right. A little bit of the rub of the green on that, yeah. for sure. Here's Jenny Shin. Can anything just pin high left would be good. Playing for the release. Very nice. From Korea at 10th. She did save her part at 9. Downhill hole the entire way from T2 green. With that tucked hole location. Let's see if she can make a birdie at the ninth. This will be her third birdie of the day. And that is going to sneak in. So, good way to finish the front nine gets Allison Lee to 12 under par. Um, it's absolutely helping this third shot of Moria's. She's got to get some spin on this shot. Yeah, something like that will do. Yeah. Very well done. That's so hard to do downwind. Céline Boutier, second shot. And that was oh, really very well nice. done. That's going to be a guaranteed birdie for Céline Boutier. So. And doesn't have as clear a view to the hole. She's going to use her lob wedge, just a little half shot. Oh, excellent. Wow. Very well done. Maddie just outside, no more than four feet. Cut. Gets her back under par for the day. Once area got knocked out of the tournament. Yep. Just going to tap this in for a birdie at the 11th. So she is charging along nicely, up to 14 under par. And, and let's find Allison Lee with her second. Only about four paces behind this hole location. So. Here's Jenny Shin's second shot. She had some issues over the last few years with pulling the trigger there. 
starting the golf swing, but says she's worked hard on that and doesn't seem to be much of an issue now. Again, that you can see that front right portion slopes just a little bit from right to left. So anything at it? Yeah. The nice lead. Oh, that's wonderful. Allison Lee at the tenth, trying to join that log jam page at the top of the leaderboard. How many separated by just a single shot? Well, a minute ago. Oh, yeah, now we have twelve. T twelve players 12 separated within by a one. shot. Borga from Norway, the rookie, is tied with Celine Boutier here, her second at 12. Par at Good 12 touch. all four days would be great. Charlie Hull here at the 16th. Can she tie the lead? There's some golf courses where you, you see the mountain, you see the valley, and everything definitely slopes the valley. I've seen quite a few instances where it just doesn't seem to want to do that. Lilia Vu's got a good look here at the ninth. This is Lilia Vu. Yep. <laughs> Par putt for Moria. Toughest hole on the course in this third round. Maybe three and a half, four feet for Celine Boutier for her par. Charlie Hull knocked uh, three in from off the green yesterday. She hit eight greens and shot 66. <laughs> 122. Looks like great line. Yeah, it is. Good shot. And we've seen this portion of the green actually be very receptive for the players. Stayed high. The player who's made over 150 starts on the LPGA Tour. A whole lot of movement to it. Ever so slight uphill putt. Maybe a little left to right. Yeah, just very little. That's a good try. All her putts are, if you know, if they're not going in, they're leaving her just a little tap in. So that's a sign she's in good control of her putter. It looks like it wants to go right to left, but the main slope and hills are to her left. So maybe a straight putt. Now nope. pulled it a tad. And it ultimately did end up moving that way, Kay. And I was, I was saying that to Tom that so often you look at the macro first. Where's the mountain? Where's the valley? And you should have a predictable way to putt. Jenny Shin to tie the lead. Good stroke. There are eight players we can say that about to tie the lead. It feels like 20% yeah. of the field. Yeah. Jenny makes her home in Vegas. One win to her credit back in 2016 came from behind. Not happy. Helan Yu, her second at the short par five. She might have the lead to herself in a moment. That'll be for Eagle to take the lead. At the 18th, an Eagle putt to take the lead for Korea's Elan Yu. A pogey free 64. She's got the lead alone at the moment. Allison Lee is at 12 with her second. Oh, really nicely done. Yeah, a lot around the bunker, you'll notice there's some discoloration. It was... Her lie is good. Plenty of green to work with. Going with the 50-degree wedge again. Down. Allow for some overspin. Got that to sit down pretty nicely. 
chance to pick up a shot and get to 14 under. Who's second at 11. Just trying to get it to stop and does. In terms of a lead at the end of the day. 11. Jenny Shin, second. And yeah, that's just nicely done by Jenny. We should say for Eagle, I guess, as many times as she's made it from off the green this week. <laughs> Done. Stayed very steady. Well done. Really good test at this point in the round. Birdie putt for Charlie Hall at 18. Oh, she can't believe it. It's got to feel like a bogey, doesn't it? Well, it almost is, because the scoring average That's was true. just right around four for the field. You can call par whatever you want. Right. This is the length of the comeback putt for Lilia Vu at the 11th. And it's no problem at all. It's quite possible that someone we haven't even seen yet is going to win this tournament. It very well could happen. 25-year-old from Southern California went to UCLA, Lilia Vu. Hang on. She can't bear to watch. She's going to love it when she gets up there. That was a great kick. She played brilliantly. In that that case, was one of those, maybe. It, it was a week. fortunate bounce. And Maddie coming out of the rough at 11. Oh, hitting to a very skinny green Tom. Get in! Well, she got that to stop nice. Here's a good shot. A couple of years ago, at the 12th, Jenny Shin for back-to-back -back birdies to tie the lead. She walks oh. it in. At the 14th, the second at the par four for Celine Boutier. This is Allison Lee for a birdie. And keep it online, not enough pace. So, going to be a par for Allison. She'll remain three under for the day. She was saying yesterday, any round in the 60s is a pretty good day. Over the ball, that they're going to put a good roll on it. She executes more often than not. Right on cue. Wow. The birdie putt for Celine Boutier at 14. Can she join the leaders? Yes, she can. So we had three players at 14 under. Now we have three at 15. Yeah, and then the, the overall terrain wins out, doesn't it? As Paige was saying, there are a number of these greens that can confuse you. They're not big breaks in these greens. There's a few slopes, but most of them are very subtle. Just an eight iron for Moria. Where the women were hitting five and six irons the last couple days. Oh, and she felt comfortable with that club, obviously. Wow. Nice shot. And there's that putt you wanted with the, the flag stick coming right down the line. So that'll be a putt to tie the lead for Moria. Oh, left. Try, I thought she left that out to the right, but drew it right in. Just uh -huh. see if it can settle in a little bit. Another good shot. It's one of the best we've seen, but not even the best of the pair. Moria Jatanagarn was one of three players tied for the lead when the round began. Just made... A birdie at the 11. One of the breakout stars of the last 14, 15 months, Lilia Vu played so brilliantly last year in her return to the LPGA Tour, and now she's an LPGA winner, one last month in Thailand. Twice a winner on the LPGA Tour. It's her seventh year. The Solheim Cup experience as well, and will be looked upon to lead the team uh, when they... 
Say Young Kim, second shot at the 18th. Come on. Oh, very nice. She was in the group with Yuka Sasso when Yuka made an albatross at the second hole yesterday. The Japan LPGA Tour. So coming in in good form. And here's her third. That Maddie Zurich had laid up at the 13th. This is her third shot. With a wedge, Tom, 111 yards, probably playing it more like 120 back into a little breeze. Okay. All right, here's Se Young Kim playing with you, Casasso, for a third straight day. Yeah. And count out Se Young Kim at your own risk. <laughs> 13. This is Mario Jutanagan. A third. And just half page with that edge of the bunker to get it close. Or leading overnight in an LPGA event coming into the day. Sling Boutier. Unlike so many players who hadn't played until this week, this is the first full field event of the season. Celine has played three times, all three LPGA events, played very well in Asia. Got this ball to stop just on the back fringe. Gives her a great look at Birdie. You saw that she was coming out of that dormant Bermuda. Very nice. And she did, I don't know if you caught it, she said something about worrying about her wrist catching. Flag on the right half of the green again today, similar to yesterday. Celine Boutier. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, gets that hot forward, and now she's got a chance for birdie. And for a time, had a share of the lead. Second shot at 15 for Lilia Vu. But the fringe is pretty smooth here. Get it running through that area. And now, you know, it's going to run right to the hole. Good, good response after missing the putt on the previous hole. She's only had two pars. And uh, the crowd was lined up all the way down the first tee, three or four deep. And the energy and enthusiasm for our women was tremendous. And we see that everywhere we go. I mean, Korea and Singapore was great. So I think the you know, area had a movie made out of her life she did. in uh, it, Thailand. And when she won in Thailand a couple of years ago, she uh, was really overcome with emotion. Here's Jenny Shin. Oh, that's a dandy looking shot from Jenny. An aggressive line into this. Third shot for Celine Boutier at the 18th. How often would she expect to get this up and down? In this situation, it's pretty straightforward. I mean... <laughs> How about up and in? How about every time? Yeah. <laughs> There's a chance tomorrow that she will walk away with her first victory. And even have to line this one up. Celine Boutier, a tap-in birdie at the 18th. And that's a round of 65, 12. She's now a couple back of Moria. Saw the lovely approach from Moria Dutanagan, and she does convert. So that takes her to 17 under par and the lead on her own. Chin Young Ko has been battling through an illness this week. She lost her voice. Wasn't sure she could even go this week after winning a couple of weeks ago in Singapore. This her third of the 18. Nearly perfect. So if this is an off week for Jin Young Ko. And... And the danger here is just right of this whole location. Not very much room on the green. So anything left is perfect. That a very nicely placed shot. Women's World Championship. It was her first victory in a year. She called it the most important win of the 14 she's had. I just thought it was interesting that that wasn't the shot she would have chosen. Now, Maddie. She doesn't really have to worry about it here because she has plenty of green to work with. It's a beauty. Lovely. Solid. Well, she began the day with a couple of birdies. And she has a chance to close it. Oh. It looked like she might have peaked a little on that one. She, there was, it was not uh, as assertive through impact. There was definitely a little bit of a, a push. Hit and hope. A little hit and yes. hope. We've seen some really nice rolls. That was not her best of. 
disappointing.